I am just now upgrading from the iPhone 10 to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. While working through what kind of car mount would be best, these are the things I had to consider. MagSafe, wireless charging, and I don't want to attach a Stelly to the back, which would prevent me from using my current setup. While thinking about those options, I found that most MagSafe phone holders cost around 15 to 30 bucks. For the dash mount ones, they're all around 20 to 30. I do want a dash mount because I don't want it blocking the air vents, and I also want one with a 3M tape instead of the suction, as the tape does offer a stronger setup. So the next thing to consider is wireless charging. For the purpose of a vehicle setup, it's not really going to be wireless because you have to plug in the mount instead of your phone. So there's really no benefit as far as wire free. The benefit is you don't have to plug in your phone each time. But the big negative, which turned me away, is wireless charging options only charge at about 7.5 to 15 watts. While using a cigarette adapter can get you the max your phone offers, and in the case of the iPhone 15 Pro Max is 27 watts. And this is the exact one I did purchase, and I'll leave a link in the description. So considering all that, all I need is a MagSafe compatible holder. Then I thought about the Stilly brand. Has the MagSafe technology put the Stilly brand out of business? Surely they thought of something. So I checked out the options they had, and sure enough, they have this Orbiter Plus magnetic socket that is compatible with MagSafe. In theory, it snaps to your Stilly and works the exact same way as MagSafe. The cost is comparable with the other dash holders if you already have the Stilly. So let's get one and see how it works. So I picked one up from Amazon for $26 and it arrived the next day. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. In the box you get instructions, the orbiter, and metal rings with 3M tape to attach it to a wireless charger if needed. The orbiter has a nice rubbery side so it doesn't scratch your phone in case you're going caseless. The magnet strength is strong on the phone side. One review I did read was someone complaining about the magnet strength being way stronger on the stilly side, which is actually what I'm hoping for. That should allow you to pull the phone off without the orbiter coming off also. With my supervisors in tow, let's see how strong the connection between the orbiter and the stilly is. <laughs> and in case you ever hear a dog barking in my videos, that's why. Sadie will bark at anything that moves or is out of place. Once you attach the phone to the orbiter, it is evenly weighted, which allows you to keep it horizontal or vertical without an issue. This was a problem with my last setup due to where I put the stilly on the phone. The magnetic grip appears to be more than enough to keep it from falling off. There is a sweet spot that you have to make sure you hit when you're attaching it though. Anything outside that sweet spot actually pushes the phone away. So I have to make sure it's on before I let go. And the connection between the orbiter and the stilly is so strong it almost feels like a single piece. Let's put this thing to the test and drive around and see if it vibrates or moves from the landscape position. When you feel how secure this is in person, you know there's not going to be any issues, but I do want to try to show this to someone trying to figure out what's the best setup for them. Alright, everything held perfect, no movement with standard driving. Now it's time to really put it to the test. One of the reasons I wanted to stick with the Stilly system is because I have one of their other accessories which I use a lot. That is the windshield mount. I use this in my Nissan Hardbody and also take it with me when I travel to use in rental cars. I picked this up back in 2020 for $28 and really enjoy it. This truck rides a lot rougher than the 2015 F-150 and is also a manual so there's a slight jar with each shift. Let's see how the orbiter holds up under these conditions. Alright, so far so good. Now let's see how it does over a few speed bumps. And I'm not sure what this fella is doing. I don't know if he knows a Nissan hard body is headed right towards him. But it may make for an interesting test condition if you don't put a little hop in that step. So after a full week of using the Night Eyes Orbiter Plus magnetic socket with my iPhone 15 Pro Max, I am pleased. 
If you're trying to figure out which setup is best for you, I hope this video helps out. I'll leave links to all the items you saw in this video in the description, and I'll see you on the next one.